Piers Morgan didn't hold back on his thoughts in a swipe at Emma Celebrity. Get me out of here. Contestant Nigel Farage, who came in third place during Sunday night's final. Piers Morgan received a savage reply from Nigel Farage's team after he branded the GB News presenter the biggest snick in Britain following the end of his Emma Celebrity. Get me out of here. Stint on Sunday night. The former UK leader came in third place behind former boxer Tony Bellew and winner Sam Thompson in an all-male final. Following Josie Gibson's departure on Saturday night. After learning the result, Pierce shared a picture from Nigel's final Bush Tucker trial, in which he laid in a coffin of snakes to earn the final three's choice of desserts and drinks. Alongside the picture, the journalist wrote, Congrats to Nigel Farage on losing a public vote for the seventh time, this time to an irritating reality TV halfwit in the lowest rated series of I'm a Celebrity. And for ending up engulfed with snakes, an appropriate final humiliation for the biggest snake in Britain. Nigel's team were quick to hit back at Piers, writing, Nigel Farage lives rent free in Piers Morgan's head. Maybe that's because the last public vote he stood in was when Nigel beat him at the Trick Awards this year. Nigel scooped the award for Best News Presenter for his work on GB News back in June, beating Piers, Susanna Reid, and Damon Holmes. As he took to the stage at the time, he was booed by some of the audience which prompted him to say, Keep the abuse coming. It says a lot more about you than about me. Pierce Savage tweet, shared with his 8.7 million followers, sparked a mixed reaction as one wrote, This sounds unexpectedly bitter and unnecessarily spiteful, Pierce. Getting to the final is pretty good. A second added, No love lost there, I see, while a third typed, You do it next year Pierce and see how you get on. In response to whether he would sign up for the show, the talk TV presenter replied, I would rather eat my own testicles. Pierce went on to hit back at Nigel's team's comment, writing, No. It's because he's a treacherous little weasel who after I congratulated him on his own Donald Trump interview scoop then tried, but failed, to sabotage mine. Farage showed me his true colors then. He's a disloyal snake. Nigel was this year's highest paid contestant earning a reported £1.5 million fee. During his time in camp, he was successful in most of the Bush Tucker trials, except an underwater challenge where he struggled to breathe. Speaking to host Anton Deck, he said of his experience, I had time to do it and I'm 60 next birthday and going to reach an age where you can't do it. This is very physical, bringing buckets of water, doing the challenges, so now is the right time to do it and I'm very pleased I did. I did my best to show no fear at all in the challenges. Nigel was also at the center of many Brexit debates during his time in camp, in which the likes of Fred Sirix and Nella Rose grilled him over his views, 